Make sure the bar's in there. Bottom of the box, it's on the back. Can you let it out a bit, Nick? Hanging gardens of Shermont. <laughs> Why? 
Good morning. Well, Calvin's had his last morning at Showmont, his trip's over. Obviously, we had him working right up to the last minute. So, it's just me and Brian because Nick's dropping him off at the airport. We've done a little bit of rooftop gardening in preparation for this arch. We're going to have to get it done. Instantly more structurally secure, that paint. Structural paint. That's what it says, yeah. Good for two tons. So today's basically a prep day. We're getting all the greenery down, all the walls prepped, ready for the big push and getting the arch done and getting the floor above in. Form for the arches in. Ugh. And we've managed to remember this time to put little packs underneath the arch so that when it's dry we can just take it out nice and easily. Which if those of you that remember the first arch is something I forgot to do but luckily we got away with it but always learning. That's all the bricks up, we've got line for tomorrow, we've got sand, the mixing station set up, the whole area is cleared, the arch form is up. There's really no excuse and I'm dying for there to be one but I'm just going to have to brick up this arch tomorrow. But what it does mean is that it puts us on track for the end of the week to put the new steels in for the very, very last floor which is exciting. Now Calvin's gone as well which is one man down and the progress as you saw was just so rapid with four men on site but we're still going to give it our best shot and we try not to be too sad that orange pant man has gone but 
I did receive something really cool in the post box this morning. Now, it's this. An old Parisian magazine from 1972 and it was sent in by someone who watches the videos and thank you so much for that. But in here is four pages on the last owner of the chateau, Mr. Mirinier. Um, he worked for Coco Chanel and owned jewelry shops and he was the last owner. It was his wife who was in the chateau when it burnt down. This is him stood out front of the chateau. And there's a whole article about Coco Chanel and how he inherited it, his perfume business that he had. But most importantly, most importantly, is here. Another picture of the inside of the chateau from back then. This is him kind of setting up stuff for his jewelry business. But this room, we've never seen what it looks like. Never ever have we seen this room. It's this room here. It's a room where the fully mature tree was growing out of. And I guess it kind of shows this angle. Read through the article and translate and see if we find out anything new about the chateau, something that we didn't know before. Um, it'd be great to hear it from him who was in the chateau, lived in the chateau at the time, owned the chateau. It's first hand, you know, accounts of what it's like to be here. There was a little note on this saying that he referred to the chateau as his wife's chateau, which is something, you know, something to look into, something quite interesting. Anyway. Tomorrow is Arch Building Day, and it's going to be a very, very busy week after that. So, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>